Greetings and welcome. Oh, greetings. My name is Patrick, and welcome to Green Hell. Uh, well, thought I may as well try and restart my channel since I've got literally nothing else to do. Although, getting ready for work is kind of something to do, I guess. Day seven. Is it day one? Jesus, you loud, dude. Okay. I'm here. Hey! Oh, fuck. I made it! <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah. You can come up. Um, you do know you have the walkie-talkie, right? Right, right, yeah, you're right. You come up. They do have walkie-talkie. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I need to find something in, in my backpack. Uh, okay. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. <laughs> oh, maldición. Can't hide anything from you. Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. Mm-hmm. I know. All right. Better find a camp. Campity camp, camp, camp. I can still talk. Oh, uh, have you tied down the bow? Si. Si, senor. Jake, um... Listen. I know this might sound Listen. stupid Iguana. under the circumstances, um, oh. but I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The place is beautiful. Oh, still. Hey, hey, stop. Still. I'm not we a bad can't forget what we came here for in the first place. I know. I found it. I found it. I, I found it. I found it. I found it. As we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahaka village. Oh, eat a banana. Take this one. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Anthropologist at hand, Doctor Higgins. Huh. All right. Well, I found the place. Okay. I found the tent. Is everything all right? The camp looks impressive. They put up a tent for us. Looks like everything's ready. Soul Trail always delivers. <clears throat> At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. All right. Well, uh, well, already day two. That wasn't much. Well, that's everything. We're officially settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but hello. Maybe you should, maybe we should reconsider this. Why is my sure big it's comfy? the best idea for you to visit them alone. Cariño, you know I have to do this. It's the only <coughs> way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. Better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic can beans. <laughs> Use your imagination. Alright, I will do that. Cool. I don't really want to read that at the moment. Uh, cool. Well, those little ones. Uh, some dart frogs that are poisonous and people treating themselves with using uh, like some sort of prim primitive... Uh, what was it called? Uh, the, uh, what's the injection called? Vaccine. That's the one. Primitive vaccine. Grab the one of these. Cut down one of these. Hey. I don't think I need one of these for... Yeah. Gimme, 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 gimme. So apparently this game's got a, a rather realistic out... Like, set. Like, there's a thing where you can actually inspect your arms and legs for what, wounds, bug bites, all that sort of stuff. Because this is like the Amazon or something. <laughs> I can't remember what this actually is. But it also has like the, what was it called? Firewatch sort of gameplay? Where you do a whole lot of talking and stuff outside of the... Oh, that's a waste of sticks, give me. Harvest. Oh, yep, that's too many. Okay, I cut down that tree for like no reason. A vine, choose a place for a small fire. Okay, uh, in wood. That's not what I meant to say. But... 
get, get. Honey, I don't have enough small sticks. I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porters left. What? Why? I don't need mug. Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, huh. but it feels that way. I don't want that. I want this stick. Thank you. So something is missing. The oh, that's right. I know what it is because I, I played this tutorial now. I know I sort of how to play this game now. So I'm sort of ready. It's a bit like Looks the like forest. Everything's ready. Mia, not as bring me detailed, though. I mean, not as um, fanciful. Remember I can't remember when I words. mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment. <sighs> Don't tell me. Not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. Old-fashioned way, huh? I know how to make one of these, sort of, yeah? No? This is not how to make them? I need to check my notebook first, really? So they're gonna do the whole thing about this tutorial. All right. Notebook. Hand drill. Thank you. Now, no, nope, that was the right one. Hand drill. Thank you. Hmm. We need to find something dry. No, we just need to use this because I already got something dry. I grabbed that bird nest from before because I've done this part before. This game is actually quite difficult, so I'm trying to get through the tutorial as fast as possible because it has a lot of story in it. Which I was not expecting. Oh, Mia. The fire is burning. Coming. Give me a minute. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but... Strangely, it feels safer here than there. Oh, I don't know. Jaguars, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. I'll miss you. And I'll be worried. But I'll do some work in the meantime. <laughs> when we meet, I should be able to catch a fish and start a fire with a single spear strike. You say you'll be afraid, and yet you are in high spirits. That's what I like about you. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. <sighs> they don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. And day three! Oh, it's raining? Can I, can I move? <clears throat> right. Upsie daisy. Come on, dude. Is that plugged into anything? No, it is not. Battery powered? Search the tent. This is what I needed to see anyway. I'm at the village. Call me at the radio when you wake up. P.S. There's a little gift for you, Mia. Alright, uh, which one's the radio again? There it is. Hello? Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? Gift. You left already? Why didn't you wake me up? You know I hate farewells. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. I don't know. We do this first. Focus 
focus on indexing new plant species and Mia. Can you explain what you're gonna do? Uh, well, I'm going to meet the Debahaka tomorrow. Alright. Now I've put it's put on that watch. Somehow this watch knows what I've eat eaten. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. What is it like implanted into my skin? Oh, exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro mm. element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days. But stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. I'm missing out on some things. Let me eat this thing. Now I am still missing out on some things. Eat this thing. I'm still missing out on some things. There's no other bars? I guess it takes time for it to digest. I did. I searched the tent for something nutritious. Oh no, I just took them. Whoops. That's better. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. <sighs> I'll try Too to care of it. Have you found them yet? See. Si. And as expected, they don't want to talk. They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Just be careful, please. I will. But if I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. You're right. They're suspicious of technology. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> Alright. Let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. Alright, check the corkboard. That one just appeared, so it's probably that one. Tobacco plant leaves, great for healing, venom bites, but what else can they heal? I saw this plant on the north side of the camp. After climbing a rock, there were plenty of them. It's a good place to start. Alright. North side of camp. That way. Alright. Probably shouldn't run with a machete out. That's probably a bad idea. I heard rustling. Oh, upsy daisy. No, up. I'm set up. We're going up. Oh. Never mind. I'm going down. I guess. Fuck me. Ow! What happened to my arm? Mia. I know I was supposed to not call, but. The line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Yasmeo, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Hold on. I'll walk away a bit so they can't hear you. Let me know once you have checked yourself. So inspect my body. I think it's my right hand? Oh, yep. Yeah. That's definitely not good. Uh, it's It's alright. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? <laughs> yes, I do. Molinaria. Long, smooth, acute leaf. Surrounded by yellow flowers. That's it. Okay, I'll go look for it. 
call me when you've treated your wound. Come on, I looked. Over and out. There it is. All right, so. No, nope, that side. Thank you. Wrap up my arm. All right. Here I am. All wrapped up nicely. Does it hurt? Like a bitch. Like hell. Imagine I am hugging you now. Mm-hmm. Better? Uh, a bit better. Yes. So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. <gasps> I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think... I think they were divided even before I joined them. The chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, <clears throat> I'm optimistic. All right. Oh, day 32. Jake, please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please. Please answer me. Mia? What happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia! What the hell's going on over there? Ooh, spoopy. Spoopy, spoopy cutscenes. Person? Oh, that was crazy. 